Marshall 26, Notre Dame 21. And yeah, I, I'll admit, even after listening to Kirk Herbstreet on College Game Day, I did not expect this. I thought it might be kind of tight. I did not expect this. Uh, Post game win expectancy, Marshall was 98%. Notre Dame had three turnovers in this game. Yards per play, Marshall 5.1 to 4.7. Uh, total yards, 364 to 351. I, both of them identical third down conversion percentage, just a touch over 30%. Uh, Notre Dame had to go for home fourth down four times because they were down at the end of the game. Just insane. They end up switching back over to Drew Pine at the end of the game because Tyler Buckner, of course, had two interceptions. Well, Pine, of course, turned it over once they get down to about the Marshall 22. Uh, not, not great. This is not good. Uh, Marcus Freeman now the first... Uh, Notre Dame coach to ever start his career 0-3. Not ideal. Now, this is a big, big win for Charles Huff. Let's talk on the good side for Marshall. Uh, they were awesome. Let's uh, let's clear out some of this App State mess. Uh, they looked good. Henry Columbia, 16 out of 21, 145 yards, one touchdown. It appears that him transferring from Texas Tech was a good thing. A very good thing. Uh, Laybourne. The Marshall run, uh, running back, 31 attempts for 163 yards, like average 5.3 a clip. Like, this is awesome. They are doing awesome. Th- they have a stacked roster. I didn't think that it was stacked enough to compete with Notre Dame, but apparently I was incorrect on that. So definitely, definitely just a fun game, a fun uh, everything. Because Marshall went in there, it looked like expecting to win. And I would not have expected that from this team. Just absolutely would not have expected it. Uh, Tyler Buckner, 18 out of 32, two interceptions, had 201 yards. Uh, Drew Pine, 3 of 6 for 20 yards with one touchdown and one pick. You couldn't run the football. Again, 37 carries, 130 yards against Marshall. I mean, this is just ridiculous. So... I'm not sure how they're going to fix this, but I do wonder how those Notre Dame fans feel about Brian Kelly at this point, right? Uh, it's as much, you know, we're better off. We, you know, there's always the other side where maybe you're not. Maybe you had a guy that knew what he was doing, and things are not things are not great, right? We'll see. I'm sure that they will get things figured out eventually, but. Uh, they, it, it looked like the perfect spot for Marshall, right? You're coming off of a big game against Ohio State. Uh, you got bigger games coming up later. This is just a walk through the park at home early on Saturday. And that's what you get. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.